Welcome to Lalu Doggies with Perla and Luna. Hello everyone, my name is Eleftheria. I'm the proud mother of Perla and Luna, and this is our first Lalu Doggies episode. Today, I'm going to introduce our two mischievous doggies to you. Let's start with Perla. Perla is a six years old miniature pincher. She's a loyal, intelligent, stubborn, and self assured dog. She loves to go out as much as possible. She's always in alert for any animal around her, especially cats. Since she was a puppy, Perla reacts like crazy whenever she sees cats. She's crying, she wants to catch them, but I never let her go too near them because it can be dangerous for both sides. When we are back home, Perla loves to spend her day at the big window of our apartment trying to spot any animal or weird behavior out there and sometimes she's barking or calling us. Her dad is calling her the watchtower. She also loves to sunbath every time the sun appears through the windows and to sleep. She loves to sleep around me or her daddy or she wants her silence and chooses to isolate herself into her travel bag at the entrance room and less often under blankets and bed sheets. Her favorite moments are when she's between close friends and family members. When I give her little treats, she loves to hide them and a lot of times she is hiding them so good that she needs to call for help in order to take it back. Perla is a really difficult dog when it comes to eating. She is not aggressive or possessive, but she's really selective in foods. She loves to eat chicken, pork, beef, yogurt, and crepes. Yes, that's crazy, isn't it? To be honest, anybody who would eat the traditional French crepe of my husband would be crazy for crepes. Yes, we are lucky. Now, let me introduce the newest member of the Lalu family, Luna. Luna is still a puppy. She is going to turn one year old at the end of October and she is also a miniature pincher. She is with us for eight months now. She is our goofball. Luna is really clumsy, but thankfully she knows how to land. She loves to play with humans and dogs, but also alone with her toys. She is a mouthy dog as well. We had a huge basket full of toys before Luna arrives, and today only the strongest ones remain something like five, six toys. When we are out, she's searching to find little twigs to hold at her mouth. She's so obsessed with the twigs around her that a lot of times she's spending some time to pick the one she prefers and then continue her walk. Uh-uh, too big. When the days are windy, she's running after the flying leaves, otherwise, She's running after the butterflies or flies. When we're walking through people, or people are walking toward us, she's running and jumping to greet everybody. The same with dogs. She's always happy and excited and active. I mean, very active at all times. When we have sun at home, she loves to sunbath like Perla. Even when she's really warm, at the point I am wondering how she can still stay there. She loves to relax and sleep around us and to jump herself between us. She's crazy about food, so much that we had to buy an anti-gluten bowl to slow her down, but still, she's finishing her food four times faster than Perla. My husband and I love our little doggies so much. It's the same for everyone around us. Viv is calling them the stars, because wherever they go, they quickly become the center of attention. People are petting them, playing with them, 
holding them, taking pictures of them. And that's also one of the reasons we decided to make a YouTube channel dedicated to them, along with a Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter accounts, to share their pictures and videos with everybody. We are going to upload more about them, so if you want to follow their adventures, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Also, feel free to like this video and share it around. Thank you for watching us. Feel free to introduce yourself in the comments below, as well as your own pet family members.